Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and today I have uh, definitely like a interesting topic. Uh, I wanted to talk about one way that you can uh, fix a Walkman if uh, it's not playing tapes. And hopefully when I flip this over, it doesn't all fall apart. Uh, this is the model I have. Walkmans are kind of like a neat thing. Uh, obviously, almost all the time I just listen to music. Now, I mean, streaming, it's pretty good quality now. And we're mostly using uh, Bluetooth earbuds anyway, so it's not like you need the highest quality because your whole set's not that good. But there's one thing I like with just an uh, analog tape. You kind of get that warmth almost like vinyl. And uh, yeah, it's, I used to have like a little uh, cassette shop and it'd be like a few dollars and you could find some nice cassettes. So it's hard to find a Walkman anymore unless you can find a new one. And the common problem is the tape, again, doesn't work. But a few other things, like the volume wheel gets really scratchy. Or there'll be, like, some zones where it'll go to, like, mono. And there might be a way you can clean it while it's like this. But what I do is obviously have it uh, either unplugged or no battery. Just spray some uh, rubbing alcohol and then just do this a bunch of times. Not, like, aggressively, but that usually fixes that. A lot of times, I guess this is the only port. Some of them also have like a line out. And a lot of times when you put the headphones in, you have to like put them in three quarters of the way and pull to get both channels. So there's usually like some type of corrosion in here. Again, a lot of times you can just get the actual 3.5 mil jack and just take it in and out a bunch of times and that'll clean it up. And if not, a cotton swab won't fit in here, but like this is from a, Swiss Army knife, but something like a toothpick or something with like a little bit of a paper or paper towel or something real thin lens cleaning cloth, some alcohol, and you can clean that up and hopefully run that jack through there a few more times. So you can probably get that to clear up. A lot of these, they'll have corrosion because the battery's corroded. As long as it doesn't go the whole way down to the board, which it usually does unless it was horrible. You can wire brush that, or just even if you don't have just a screwdriver fill up, or a flathead, you can scrape that off. That's like the common stuff. And that's one way to restore Walkman. But the main thing, again, is these belts. And this one's like really loose. Like you can see here. Just how bad that is. And I guess a little bit of backstory. I picked this up, I think it was like 2015, and I got a good deal, and I had bought a few, like, AWOL ones. Both had problems, so I bought two. They're like, you know, five, ten dollars because they're parts. Nobody thinks they're worth anything. Nice Walkmans can be hundreds, if not a thousand, because they're so hard to find a good one. And I couldn't, I tried combining both, and they're just, you couldn't even get the back off. Like, this Sony, you could take this whole back off. You just have to push these two spots, like, where these clip in. And the other one had, like, stuff soldered. There must have been, like, a board. It was terrible. So I think that these Walkmans, these were about uh, mid to late 90s. These were, like, the best ones because you had Dolby. You had uh, digital tuner, so you didn't have, again, like, that analog problem you'd have with that wheel. And so I would recommend kind of like a Walkman. For the newer ones, like the all silver ones, look more toy-like. I'm sure they cheapened them up. This one's kind of cheap too. But I really think, because it worked when I got it, and now it just probably that band got too worn out. So I fix it, and I should have a working Walkman here. So I just wanted to mention those other things in case one of those was the problem. But if you already know how to restore these or something, I, or you... A lot of them I see on eBay, again, they'll say everything works but the tape. What you can do is it's almost always, I mean, the tape head, things like that can happen. Uh, one of these gears could crack, but it, it's almost always just this um, band. So usually this belt fixes it. And um, with this, actually, so this was the uh, seller that I bought it from. So it was like $9.00. So which is kind of seems like a lot for a little rubber belt, but when you think like they had to ship it and add tracking, so by the time like they took all the fees out and everything, they probably only made a few dollars. And it was a US seller. Uh, I had looked years before, and the only ones you could find were like 
Portugal or Romania or something. So I think that uh, I'm definitely thinking this should fix it and it's not too big of an expense to take on. It's pretty simple, at least with this one, I should be able to just pull this out and uh, figure that there's not too much of a mystery to how this one goes. So I'll, I'll do it off camera. Cause... So to find them, uh, the easiest thing, I just typed uh, the, the model number of the Walkman on eBay and this came up or you could check that seller or I'm sure there's forums or something for your particular one. It's more so the Sony's and more so the popular models. But I really think that most of this stuff's probably, because you know, they said this belt covered like multiple different ones. And then I think you can also get uh, uh, like universal or variety packs where you get a whole bunch of these because it's kind of a simple, I'm sure they use these for other type of things too. And of course, they're always, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. If you had some type of uh, thin enough O-ring or rubber band, if you really were that determined and couldn't get one, you could probably work something out. I think I'm going to go ahead, put the new belt on, hopefully it goes fine, and pick back up there. Yeah, that was uh, very easy to do. So you can kind of see, like, I mean, this one decides, like, I probably just stretched it out even more. As you can just see it's completely lost its shape. It's really thin. And this one, you can see it doesn't... Uh, flop around there's a lot more tension on it and I can already tell like that's definitely going to fix it and uh, I already know that it's going to work because again it worked years ago and I knew that was the weak point so I probably won't show anything because then I have to run a line since it's a uh, headphone jack but uh, and then I'll get copyright anyway but I'll definitely leave an update to know everything and there's more different things like with wow and flutter but uh, this is a pretty simple one. It's, again, it's a newer Walkman, so I don't think it really needs much adjustments. Maybe like some of the really older ones. But it's really that simple, and it's not a bad idea to spray. Just be careful things don't fly out. Or get you know, clean up some of this. But I'll, I'll go ahead and set it back up. And uh, that's as simple as it uh, is to get a working Walkman again. Okay, so I uh, got it all put back together and some batteries in it. And of course, again, it's nice to have the uh, digital tuner. Now, obviously, you have to program it, and each time you take the batteries out, it loses its memory. After it holds it for a little while, like if you were to change batteries, I'm not sure if the capacitor went bad or it was just designed to only hold it so long. But now, obviously, it changes when there's an actual cassette, it puts a little resistance. But I'm really pushing down on it. And I can feel that it's still moving at the same speed. Don't know if you could hear it, but I was really putting some resistance on it. I mean, before it would just come to a halt when you put a little bit of tension on it. I'd actually, I'd have to dig my cassettes out there in a closet. Because again, it's easier to stream music. But you can see, there it is, it's fixed. Uh, one thing you can do still as clean like the cap stands or whatever they're called the rollers and the tape pad just to put a q-tip very gently with some rubbing alcohol but really it comes just come comes down to that belt so if you can get uh, to that easily and at least look at it and if that's what it needs get one and that's great um i'll let you know in an update when i put a cassette in if it wouldn't work or it sounds terrible but it sounded good before and that was like a 20 year old belt so if a brand new one uh at this point watch it like it outlast me or something but it's decent and uh, i'll probably really ever use it but it'll be nice that now if i do want to use it it's ready to go so let me know if that can help i know it won't cover everything there's other issues at times with walkmans but if it just it won't play uh cassette tapes that could be what it is so uh thanks for watching and you'll see me in the next one have a good one